Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to determine whether the curve is the graph of a function of x, and if it is, to state the domain and range of the function. So the easiest way to do this is the vertical line test, where we place the pen as a vertical line, and if we see that it intersects with the function in more than one spot for any position of the pen, then it is not a function. What is this actually doing? Well, it's representing that if you have a particular x value, let's call it here, we don't want there to be more than one y value, more than one output of the function. And if we see, as we pass through the entire domain of the function, we don't have more than one intersection point at any point, therefore, yes, it is a function. Since it is, we're gonna find the domain and range. The domain is the um, x values that the function can take on. So let's just start all the way to the left and move our way through. So we start here at x is equal to negative two. We have a closed circle here, so that means it's inclusive, which is why I drew less than or equal to. And as we pass through, going more and more increasing on the x-axis, we go all the way to this point at x is equal to positive two, and that is the domain of the function. Those are all the x values that you can take on. There's no break in the middle, it's just that one interval. The range is the y values. So this is a little less clear. We have to find the lowest and highest point. So we start here, we can see that this is the lowest point and this is the highest point. So we have a value of negative one here where y can go all the way down to negative one. And as we go between the minimum and the maximum, the lowest and highest point, we can see that it's continuous, so we hit every point in between them. So we just have one interval from negative one, the minimum, to two, the maximum, and that is going to be a range.